She might get a turn. I might fuck up. Oh my god. Let's just hope Berta's turbulence doesn't miss. Fuck! Please don't resist. Oh my god! Oh! Well... I do wish that, um... I do wish that Spectra hit harder. How is she not taking any damage? Like, Spectra's Spectral Assault should be doing, like, tons of damage to her. She'd take out, like, a chunk of her health. This is so long. Oh my god. This was supposed to end 20 minutes ago. TOA is not supposed to last, like... An hour for a floor. Alright, screw this. I'm gonna play on my tablet. I'll be back when the fight's almost over. This is just too much. What is up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, today we are going against SoCal In and Out. Uh, I've never been to an In and Out before. I. I've been to California when I was like really really young, but it was a long time ago and I haven't heard like of In-N-Out until I was like much older, so I never had the chance to to eat In-N-Out. But I heard some great things about it, like you can make custom burgers and tell them to do whatever you whatever you want them to do to your burger. Wait, that that kind of sounded wrong. Either way, we're going to hit this plus 3 guy first. Um Tor Ratesh, Chloe. This seems like a pretty easy team. Like, Tor has no protection, so I can pretty much just blow him up. Um, yeah, I think this is a pretty standard team to go against that. And then Escher, Veramos, Bella. Um, I'll just bring, like, a low, lower threat team, because they, they don't really have, like... You know, they, they have high speed, but they don't have any, like, really high threat stuff. Um, I'm thinking of doing something like this. Actually, wait, no, I can't use the Monkey King. Maybe this. This is probably my most stable <laughs> guild battle team. It's like besides this one. Like this one is. Um, this one works against pretty much everything. I don't really have a super strong dark tank. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call Basalt like really, really strong. Although he is really tanky. Um, but he isn't naturally tanky. He has no like stats to actually make him tanky. If I bring a team like this, Camilla should be pretty safe. I don't want them to kill my healers though. But I got an idea. How about I use um Should I Theomars the second team? No, I think Camilla is much safer. I do want some sort of armor break though. Hmm. I don't know if Colleen by herself is enough healing without any sort of shield. Alright, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in throw in basalt in the second team. And I'm just gonna have uh Theomars and Konamiya. And then I'm gonna just let them hit basalt and I'm just gonna blow them up with Theomars. That's that's the plan. <laughs> that is the plan. Oh yeah, I finished TOA yesterday, so I have a summoning um, after this video. I have a legendary scroll and a light dark scroll. It's, it's all I got. I actually summoned the other scrolls, like the wind scrolls and the um, the mystical scrolls, to make fodder to stick star my map like two days ago. So I only have two scrolls to summon right now. I could refresh the shop like 50 times. I actually learned that refreshing the shop is a lot better, like 10 times better than buying premium pack. Premium pack is like such a huge waste of crystals. Um, if you if you use like crystals to refill and then farm dragons for a long time until you have a lot of mana, and um, like I think maybe like in in um, you know 10 refills, like 300 crystals, you should be. You should be able to get around um, maybe like three. I think I think three million mana is is possible if you don't have any single like if you don't have any good runes and you just sold them all. Um, three million mana on dragon should be possible, and then all you gotta all you gotta really do is just refresh the shop over and over again, and then use that three million mana. I think in in another three hundred crystals, you should get way more than eleven scrolls. So this way, you actually 
have a chance to farm dragons, like to potentially get good runes. But if you don't, you can still salt, use those runes, use the mana from those runes to refresh the shop and get um, get scrolls from there. And while you're refreshing the shop, you also have chances to get good runes from that. So um, there's just really no reason to ever buy premium packs if you're able to already farm like Dragon's V10 and stuff. Unless you don't have time, you just have like too many crystals, you just want to waste them all. But as a free-to-play player, I, I really can't waste my crystals. I, I do um, make sure every single one counts. I also bought a Gusty Gl Cliff. Um, I, I didn't do it for like almost, I think it's almost a year of playing. Um, I'm nearing that one point, like that, that one year of playing point, um, once it gets to December. But I actually, like, it took me like 11 months before I bought it. I should have bought, I should have bought that a long time ago. It's, it's a lot of really good EXP. A lot of people don't actually make good use of that. I, I found that you can actually make really good use of the Gusty Cliff if you, or, or other like, you know, the, the fountain and stuff. Um, the ones where you put fodders in and then you get EXP over time. All you gotta do is just leave four fodders in there. Like fodders that you will never use and you just leave them in there. I left four surprises boxes in there since they were one star and now they're already four star. I, I think I left them like a month ago or something like that or two months ago, I can't remember but it was, I left them in there for quite a long time. Thing is, um, it it actually does help you over a long period of time because by the time I get the max level, maybe it'll take another month, I'm going to have four more max level four star fodder to make a, a future six star. Uh, pretty much for free, you know, just just by putting fodder in into the the um, the cliff and the fountain and I don't know what the other one's called, but you know the EXP thingy. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt so much. Well, that was insane. It's basically, can I kill Veramos before he kills my basalt? That is, that is what we're trying to do here. I'm trying to take care of his Veramos before he, he kills my Basalt, pretty much. Alright, I got his Veramos, but I'm not sure if I, my Basalt can survive. I'm going to provoke Bella just so he doesn't heal and stuff. Oh my god, I should have provoked Escher. Alright, that mess massacre t took out my, um, my Basalt. Meaning he has it ready on cooldown again. So I need to blow him up really fast, or else I lose. Shit, he's going to use Massacre. Oh my god, Theomars, GG. This was a bad idea. This was a horrible idea. I should have brought a low threat team and just let, let him hit me over and over. Oh my god, I already don't have... I don't have Endure anymore. Well, there goes Theomars. Now, can, Cola, can Kona beat Bella? That is the question. Come on, Kona! Or it would be all for nothing. Me losing Theomars. Oh shit. No, he has mobilized! I don't need to heal yet. Research self with the attack buff and, and peck him. Go Kona! Alright, this this isn't looking too good. This Bella Violent procs are pretty insane. Alright, I'm max HP again. But I think he has mobilized next turn. And take out his HP before he uses Mobilize. Research with attack buff and peck. Oh god. I don't think this fight's ever gonna end. It might, it just might. If I can get enough stuns, I can potentially stun lock this Bell out of death. This is not right. There is just something really wrong here. 
with this fight. I have a feeling I should be able to kill this Bella. Like if I go really hard, I should be able to kill this Bella. I just have that feeling for some reason. He's, he's losing a bit of HP every single time, you know? He's not healing back fast enough. Or maybe the AI is just not healing on the turns that it should. And then that's making the difference. Okay, if, if my Kona is ever in danger, I'm going to hit the drop button. This is the dumbest fight ever. I just gotta I just gotta land a stun right now. And then he's gonna lose a bit more HP. Oh I got a violent proc, nice. Die! I have a feeling, I have a feeling I can win this. Just gotta land a few more stuns. Alright, he lost a little bit of HP, right? Like every single time this this is happening, he's losing a little bit of HP. Oh my god, this is the dumbest guild battle ever. The Kona versus Bella battle. I must win this. For the honor of my guild. You shall die. Oh shit. He's back to full again. I don't think this is going to end. I shouldn't have used Assault. I regret that terribly. I could have used the Reviver or something with Theomars. Like McKean. That, that probably would have worked better. They have no no um, <laughs> immunity. I don't know what I was thinking. I just... Oh my god. So much regret here. But it does seem like my Kona is way faster than his Bella. I don't know why. Did he go like 3 HP Bella? You know what? I don't think this is going to end. I give up. I give up. This is too much. I lost Theo in Basalt. That was my mistake. Oh my god. Oh shit, another Escher team. This one has Orion. Mm hmm. Alright, this time, this time I bring Camilla. Now my Camilla is pretty weak in guild battles. Her crit rate is way too low without real computer skill. Um, Monkey King? Yeah, Monkey King. Yeah, these guys have no immunity. I should have a, like, I should pick a stun team with immunity. That's, that's how I beat them. I should use uh, Veramols in the second fight, it's way better. Let me, let me rearrange my team. Our first team I'm going, they have no, well they, actually they do have one armor break. Um, go woo some Camilla Colleen, this is a pretty, pretty safe team I think. And then the second team I go Vero, Vero Darian Bella. Or should I, instead of Darien, use another immunity monster just to just to block out their crazy shit? I could always like Draco or something, or I could put Wusa here and then use um, maybe Darien here. Oh, Darien will get wrecked. Never mind. I'm just gonna eat their debuffs. Doesn't matter. I have Veramos to take care of it. And they have no um, no immunity, so Veramos is gonna like stun them like crazy. Wait, I'll talk to you later after I finish my guild battles. Oh come on! I'm gonna buff up attack. Actually, I, sh I should have buffed up attack. Wait, my Colleen is slower than my Camilla. Oh yeah, I remember, I took a rune out from her. I took a rune out of my Colleen and gave it to 
uh, <laughs> gave it to to Spectra. She's actually missing one rune right now. Oh my god, she's missing a rune! No, 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 hit my colleague. She's missing a rune. Please, mercy, she's missing a rune. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm, I'm fucked. Oh god, my guild's gonna get so pissed. Well, they're not gonna get pissed. They're just gonna be disappointed at me. Disappointed. I give up. That was, that was too much. <laughs> no, my Colleen was missing a rune. I was like, why is Colleen going after Camilla? And then I, re I, I remembered. I took her slot 2 speed rune out. And that, my friends, is how to get wrecked and killed out of city. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt so much. Well, at least Vermals can eat these two debuffs. Some, some heals. Bomb proc, please. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt. Oh god, oh, oh my god, what the fuck is this alright? Oh my, what the fuck? That was like, what, six turns? Alright, GG, GG, I give up, I give up, um, fuck this, fuck, fuck, fuck all of this, I'm going to go hit the plus zeros, there we go, screw you guys, I'm out of here, Yeah, fuck that shit, I'm out of here. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think this is gonna work well. That should pretty Trevor. Alright, Tessari and Trevor combo, let's do this. With, uh, with a Kona. Oh, wait, is this a good idea? Tessari and Trevor combo with... With Musa? Or fuck it, I'm, I'm just, I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore, just, just whatever. Fuck this game, fuck kill battles. <laughs> oh god, I'm so bad at kill battles. Now I can armor break and silence him. And then Trevor. Wait a minute, he's water. Oh wait, never mind. Trevor doesn't give a fuck. Trevor doesn't even need to hit even like crit to hit hard. Trevor does whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> Okay, I should use Trevor in every single single one of my guild battles. I don't know why he's not on like my first first team. Like I don't know why he's not on um my first like priority picks when I when I when I go into guild battles. Cause he's winning every single fight. Or is it because I'm hitting the plus ones and their runes just suck? Wait, th this guy's a plus zero, he's not even a plus one. But in my guild I think I'm the plus zero, because I'm I'm in fighter right now. I've just been so lazy these these weeks. Um, oh, how come every time I'm recording, someone pulls an F5? It's pretty crazy. Oh, it's Katarina. Well, look on the bright side. At least you don't have to fuse her now. Or if you already have one, you can run double Katarina now for guild battles. I should build a double Katarina for guild battles. That's how I win every single fight. Or not win every single fight. If I lose, at least I lose in like three seconds, you know? Okay, I think I got this. All right.
right, so what was the plan? Kill Vermos twice. Kill Brian. Kill Vermos twice. Okay, I have no form of immunity at all. But fuck it. Please, violent proc. Maybe I should just ki kill Brian first. Stack two debuffs and hope he doesn't remove the armor break. Nice. Oh, we're hitting Brian. It's faster if I just kill Brian. Most Brian's are ruined with like three three HP, um, and then like no defense. So if you just hit him really hard, he usually dies fast. It's always nice to have a good balance of defense and HP, but like if you want your monster super tanky. I learned this from doing TOA hard for a long time. But in PvP is different because uh, a lot of the monsters you use in PvP or the monsters that you know your enemies use in PvP, they have like armor break. Like 90% of the time they have armor break. And if they don't have armor break, they probably have some sort of like armor ignore, like Lucian, Katarina, Copper, Kali, that type of crazy shit. Oh my god, I can't heal right now. Because he has heal block. And I have no immunity. Please violent proc? Aw. Well, the good thing is I have three armor break on this team. Oh my god, I, I get wrecked every single day in guild battles. All right, so <clears throat> well, it's over, guys. We got him. I've got a question. If you'd hear me out, out, yeah, triple armor break. Imagine if Veramos had armor break. Shit would be broken. I'd fuse two Veramos. All right, let's 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 try for a lucky win scroll. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, I only got three scrolls, but it is summon time. Uh, I'll just start with a win, light, dark, and then legendary, and hope I get something decent in the, in the leg legendary and light, dark. Maybe I get lightning here. I don't know. Let's do this. Oh, no lightning. Might be Epicon Priest. Nope. <laughs> it's a bear man. Alright guys. Two three three weeks of going like going at eighty over and over again until I finally passed it. And then these um, three really hard days of grinding and finishing TOA hard hundred has come down to this. Sure. Thrain. Oh, fuck. What is this? What is he? He's like Trevor, but dark. Increase your attack power by 100% and your attack power increases additionally as your HP decreases. Can I use him as a toy? Will it work? Probably not. Please, please be something useful. Please. Please, please, please. What is it? Five star? Four star? Oh! Rip. 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 Oh, man. Alright. I guess my next 6 star project is just going to be something fun, um, Tossy or something. Like I, The Light Samurai, I, I've been wanting the 6 star for the longest time. I, I kind of do need another attacker. And then he's light based so he's like, he's going to work a lot, really well. 
or if I want to try for like one of the top rankings in um, TOA Hard next month, I might think of six starring um, six starring um, Hemos, like because Hemos can get me through the 80 to 90, like to 104, really really fast. All right, so that's everything, guys. Uh, I made it to 53 this time. Hopefully, I get a higher ranking next time. Hopefully, it's not not as hard. Like this this uh, this TOA rotation is just insane. And I think I should make some TOA hard guides, but I don't think my guides will be very helpful unless you six start Mav. Mav is just too strong. Mav helped me clear at 80, and I used Mav on every single four all the way up, all the way up to 100, um, even on 100. I used um, I used this team. Wait, no, not this team. This, team. this was the team I used to clear 100. Um, I'll make a guide video on like the, the boss floors of TOA Hard because most of the normal floors, unless it's like really unique, like the light valve floors and stuff, um, you don't really require like you don't really need any anything unique uh, to clear it. Just like have tons of CC and slow and attack bar decrease, and then you should be able to just clear every single floor all the way up to 100. Alright, that's pretty much it guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. I'm sad. I'm sad about the mermaid and the, the thingy. What is he? The Minotaur? Dark Minotaur? His passive makes him look like Trevor. I, I, I put this Wind Kung Fu Girl in, in my like out of storage because this, this was the one I got from the legendary on TOA normal to ward off like bad luck but it didn't work very well instead I got a wind mermaid so yeah well if I ever do pull a black mermaid or a white mermaid I can max skill her with my other wind mermaids from from the secret dungeons yeah alright that is it guys I'll see you guys next time peace out